Korean, Korean English teacher and English is my second language. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Ji, also Korean, uh, teaching English and English is also my second language. Mm. We are going to talk about how we studied for this video to introduce ourselves to you and we are going to make a lot of videos for more information about Korea. Mm -hmm. too. So, can you tell me how you studied English? Uh, <clears throat> okay, in my case, I studied, I mean, I went to America when I was five years old and I stayed there for three years. And after coming mm -hmm. back to Korea, I didn't study English at all because I was good enough to... <clears throat> she said good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I was good enough to do my school works in elementary school and middle school. Mm -hmm. But when I went to high school, I was stuck because in high school in Korea, English education is only focusing on grammar and reading. Mm. You can't hear anything in English and, or you can't even speak at class. So I was very frustrated because I didn't know how to do the problems, solve the problems. So since then I started to go to academies and I also had an English speaking tutor because I wanted to <clears throat> improve my English speaking skills. And I also studied with watching American drama, mm. like Gossip Girl. Do you know that? Yeah, of course. Yes. Mm. So how was your uh, high school English score? It was um, embarrassing, but it was very low. <laughs> Compared to your actual English skill, right? Uh, yes, mm. yes. So, so whenever my friends after the if, after the exam, my friends will come to my desk and how was their score? What how was it? And okay. then I would say it was terrible and it was really terrible. But they were really um, confused because I speak well, mm -hmm. but my test results were mm -hmm. always not good. Mm -hmm. So they thought it was really weird. As opposed to her, my English score was almost perfect every time because I really wanted to uh, be good at English mm -hmm. so I tried really hard on English test and I was good at solving problems but you know what, after uh, high school I went on a trip to Europe but I never spoke any language at all mm -hmm. any English at all to any foreigner so I was shocked yeah that's because in Korea mm -hmm. we really focus on <clears throat> grammars and reading only yeah, that is a problem and we're gonna share how uh, I uh, studied after graduation from the high school mm -hmm. and she's gonna also give you some tips about how you have to study from like when we were young or something like that. So since when did mm -hmm. you start to speak in English? Uh, I happened to go to Canada mm -hmm. like when I was 26 and then yeah. <laughs> Then, at the time, I, I, I was exposed to English environment, mm -hmm. then I didn't really study at the time. So, let's go back to, again, when I was 30. Uh, now you guess my age. <laughs> so, I, I studied really hard, I tried to study really hard when I was 30, and the method was this, you have to listen carefully. We, not we, I, uh, like her, I watched American drama too. Then, uh, when I watched American drama, I repeated what people said there. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I watched Titanic a lot of times, and I liked DiCaprio there. Whenever he says some sentences, I followed him. Mm -hmm. So, I still remember the line when he was uh, having dinner with her girlfriend's Rose uh, family. Uh, he said, life is gift. And I don't intend on wasting it. So, yeah, those kind of lines. I memorized every sentence he spoke there. And I followed many times. After that, I realized that speaking is not what you do with your head. But you have to do it with your heart. So, <clears throat> after you can, uh, after you practice, only after you practice some sentences a lot of times, can actually speak with your heart. If you agree or disagree with our saying, please leave comments below 
And then don't forget to subscribe because we are going to talk about more uh, Korean life and Korean people and culture. So stay tuned. Bye. <laughs>